Welcome to an exclusive segment of Texas Legislative Update blog brought to you by Liberty Institute. Uh, we're honored to have with us the Chairman of Public Education, Rob Eisler, from the Woodlands area. We know there's been some talk recently about the confirmation of Gail Lowe, the current Chair of the State Board of Education, and also the view of some members of the House regarding the social study standards. But there's more to the story, and so we thought the best thing to do was for, for you to hear from Chairman Rob Eisler himself. Uh, there's a quotes in the paper of what he thought, but we uh, had a chance to visit with him. We know he's visited with the Chair of the State Board of Education, Gail Lowe, so we thought we'd let you hear from him. Chairman Eisler, thanks for being with us. Um, we've talked about this. What is your current view of the social study standards as they've been adopted? I think they're fine, and I know I know there was a, a long battle and ups and downs, and how many times Thomas Jefferson was in there, and I was in contact, you know, with some of the state board members, and, and they were doing fine. And uh, you know, what is it? I told you a million times, don't exaggerate. I mean, that's what happens yeah. <laughs> when when you get coverage of, sure. of things like that, and and there are groups that don't like it, or they want it to be more through their view and, and not what really is. Great. Well, and you know, we remember that last year you signed on to a letter with the Texas Conservative Coalition before the final vote saying that you supported the social study standards and the work of the State Board of Education. And so, um, and so I think it's, you know, it's good for people to know. And so they're clear, there was an article that's been out and um, has said that you were, got information from the Fordham Institute report but you've looked at some of that information. What is your view of the Fordham Institute, what they're trying to do and their criticism? Well, something I found out, because I, I spoke to Gail and, and uh, I spoke to Pat Hardy and, uh, and, and uh, I also had some correspondence with uh, my own representative and uh, uh, Barbara Cargill. And they said that the Fordham Institute was really interested in national standards. And I, I've been going around the country well, not all around the country, but a couple places, and, and told them that, hey, Texas just did, we did our own standards, and, and I, think, uh, I think they're fine. And uh, I didn't know that the Fordham Institute was, was really aiming for that. So it would be natural that they would take a shot at Texas. And, and my whole attitude, in fact, when I first heard about this, uh, they, wanted, they wanted a quote, and they, they put one in for me. <laughs> uh, and the only concern I had was I'd heard that 200 last-minute uh, amendments were put through. And, and I, I was a little bit worried about that because the legislature on third reading takes two-thirds to, to get it on and uh, to get an amendment on, and it's in the last day, but that's not the way the state board works. And that's what I found out was the difference. So I was, I was fine with the way it went. Yeah, you have a little bit of difference of process, so I think it's great that you and Chairman Lowe got to visit and uh, come to um, some understanding or for her to get to visit with you and shed some light on it. So um, I think it's you know good for people to know is, is pretty clear. You do currently support the social study standards as adopted. I do and, and, if, and if there are any problems that somebody can point out and, and what was pointed out was well, was answered very well by uh, I think you did the work Jonathan but, uh, but it does answer it. And, the, and, and I think the most important part of this is Gail Lowe needs to be confirmed by the Senate. And of course, by the way the Senate process works, she needs two Democrats. So uh, I, I think uh, I, I printed that statement to, to help her, and, and that's really directed at some uh, Democratic senators. Yeah, well hopefully we'll see bipartisan support. Obviously, uh, Chairman Gail Lowe works in a role as the chairman, and she uh, presides over the meeting, and I think there's um, a good amount of people out there that think that she should be judged by the way she handles the members mm -hmm. and the way she handles the meeting, uh, but she does retain her right to vote, and that's because she's elected as right. an elected member of the exactly. State Board of Education. Exactly. So. Well, uh, we really appreciate Chairman Eisler taking time to visit with us. We know he's got a lot of things to do regarding the budget and public education, and so uh, we'll continue to try to bring these exclusive interviews for you. And Chairman Eisler, thank you so much for Any, your time. Anytime, Jonathan. And look for more updates from Texas Legislative Update Blog.